You are watching Pan Blast's abrasive media recovery, recycling and closed circuit blasting training video. In this video, we will review other equipment, which can be used during open blasting for abrasive media recovery and recycling, and also review specialized equipment for encapsulated blasting. Let's start with abrasive media recovery. During open blasting, the blast operator performs abrasive blasting on the workpiece and the spent abrasive media and removed contaminants simply fall to the ground near the workpiece. As the blast operator moves around the workpiece, the surrounding work area becomes filled with both spent abrasive media and removed contaminants. After emptying the blast pot or completion of blasting on the workpiece, the blast operator can manually sweep and shovel the spent abrasive media and removed contaminants from the ground into a waste storage vessel for final disposal or further processing. Alternatively, upon completion of blasting, the operator manually vacuums instead of sweeping or shoveling spent abrasive media and removed contaminants using a pickup wand into a storage silo for subsequent final disposal or further processing. For single-use abrasive media such as copper slag or crushed glass, recovered materials are usually sent for final disposal at approved waste dump sites. If an expendable abrasive such as garnet is used, the recovered materials may be further processed so the good media can be recycled for reuse. Care must be taken in this instance to keep the recovered material dry at all times to ensure effective fine media and contaminant separation and good media recycling for reuse. Let's now review Panblast's SP series of bulk abrasive vacuum recovery systems. The three standard models in Panblast's range share common features of vertical recovery height of 30 meters, 98 feet, and horizontal recovery distance of 15 meters, 49 feet. Each model also has an appropriately sized cyclonic dust collector fitted with pulse jet cleaning and an IP55 control panel with running current and vacuum display. The models differ in their abrasive vacuum recovery speed and storage capacity. The SP30 features 3.5 tons per hour vacuum recovery capability with 3.5 tons storage capacity. The SP45 features 5 tons per hour vacuum recovery capability with 5 tons storage capacity, while the largest SP60 model has 6 to 10 tons per hour vacuum recovery capability with 7 tons storage capacity. For requirements that cannot be met by any of these three standard models, Panblast can custom configure vacuum recovery systems for use with specific abrasive types and or long recovery distances up to 100 meters, 328 feet. These photos show a typical bulk abrasive vacuum recovery system from various angles. The vacuum suction hose is normally connected to the silo inlet to feed recovered spent abrasive media and removed contaminants, which are stored in the storage silo. This vacuum suction is generated by the vacuum module, 
which is connected to the storage silo at the vacuum inlet and the storage silo outlet. Clean exhaust vacuum air is discharged to atmosphere via the exhaust silencer outlet after passing through cyclonic separation of abrasive and contaminant fines from clean air. To use the bulk abrasive vacuum recovery system with multiple operators, simply add a flow T or flow manifold into the vacuum recovery hose. To get even vacuum suction for all the operators, all the vacuum hose lengths and hose internal diameters must be identical. At the opposite end of the product spectrum, Panblast's POW Air Vac is a compact, portable and economical pneumatic Venturi type vacuum recovery solution designed for vacuuming spent abrasive media and removed contaminants for low volume applications. The vacuum generator sits on a 200 litre, 44 gallon heavy duty collection drum and is supplied with a 10 metre, 33 feet vacuum recovery hose and a pickup wand. Now let's continue by reviewing Panblast's abrasive media recycling systems. Both the ProFlow, 3 tons or 6,600 pounds per hour capacity, and UltraFlow, 7 tons or 15,400 pounds per hour capacity abrasive media recyclers can be supplied with height extensions to allow placement of a storage hopper in between the abrasive separator outlet and the blast pot or bulk bag. The reverse air pulse jet dust collector provides ventilation to the abrasive separator, so good reusable abrasive media can be recycled for reuse while the removed contaminants are fed to the waste bin. The abrasive separator is adjustable to suit most abrasive types. Any remaining airborne fines are removed by the filter cartridge of the dust collector and accumulate at the bottom of the dust collector hopper until they are removed or dumped into the secondary waste bin. To use the SP series bulk abrasive media recovery system with the Pro Flow or Ultra Flow, we have to ensure that the silo outlet feeds recovered materials into the abrasive recycling systems. This can be done by elevating the silo support legs, such that the silo outlet can feed material in the feed hopper of the abrasive recycling unit, or by removing the feed hopper entirely and using a fabricated attachment to couple the silo outlet directly to the boot of the bucket elevator. In either case, Care must be taken to ensure that the feed rate of recovered materials into the abrasive recycling system from the silo outlet does not exceed its rated capacity, 3 tons or 6,600 pounds per hour for the ProFlow and 7 tons or 15,400 pounds per hour for the UltraFlow. It is important to note that the vacuum recovery rate is not the same as the silo output feed rate. The latter is governed by the orifice size of the silo outlet itself or the orifice of the valve or piping attached to the silo outlet. 
Let's switch gears a little and go over some specialized equipment for closed circuit encapsulated blasting with simultaneous media vacuum recovery or simply closed circuit blasting. The illustration above shows a Venturi type closed circuit blasting gun from Pan Blast's AER85 closed circuit blaster. It is a pneumatic Venturi suction type blast head which uses compressed air supply flowing through an air jet and corresponding nozzle to create venturi suction for abrasive media feed into the mixing chamber prior to exiting the blast nozzle onto the workpiece. It is functionally similar to a blast cabinet suction blast gun, but with a vacuum recovery head accessory added to the blast nozzle. This vacuum recovery head has a fixed circular brush attachment at its end to encapsulate the blasted area on the workpiece, both to contain the blasting action and also to provide a circumferential vacuum suction area that removes spent abrasive media and removed contaminants from the workpiece and returned to the AER85 unit where reusable media is separated from fines and removed contaminants. Now let's see Pan Blast's AER85 compact closed circuit blaster in action. Similar to blast cabinets, for heavy-duty applications, Pan Blast has a pressure blast version of the closed-circuit blaster in the form of the AER215 Nuovo. It operates similarly to the AER85, but is much larger, rugged, and has a higher production rate than the AER85, and with more flexibility in the type of abrasive media which can be used because it is a pressure blast instead of a suction blast system. The vacuum recovery head also attaches to the end of a pressure blast nozzle, but is not interchangeable with the vacuum recovery head of the AER85 unit. Because of differing international pressure vessel certification requirements, the AER215 Nuovo closed circuit blaster can be supplied as a complete system or supplied without a blast pot, so it can be fitted with any certified blast pot that meets local market certification requirements. Let's now have a closer look at the heavy-duty AER215 Nuovo closed-circuit blaster.
The two standard models in Pan Blast's range differ primarily in the operational blasting distance and blasting speed. The AER-85 has an operational hose length of 3 meters, 10 feet, while the AER-215 Nuovo has an operational hose length of 8 meters, 26 feet. With a 6 mm blast nozzle, the pressure blast AER-215 Nuovo has roughly four times the blasting intensity of the suction blast AER-85 with a 3 mm Venturi air jet. The AER-85 can be used with most commercial abrasive types up to the bulk density of steel grit G18 size and can be blasted continuously while the AER-215 Nuovo is suitable for abrasive media up to S230 shot size in 10 minutes blast cycles. Both units offer a portable environmentally friendly encapsulated blasting solution for touch-up blasting work. This brings us to the end of this video. We hope you've enjoyed viewing it. And for those of you pursuing bronze or gold level certifications, we wish you the best of luck for the online test.